Jeez. Hey. You little stinker. You need to be nice to the squirrels. That's not goes for you too. We've been having some drama in the house. Ever since um, the little squirrel Stella came back, the kitties have just been going crazy. For some reason, I'm not sure if they remember her or if they're just seeing that we're giving them attention, but they hate these squirrels and they will stop at nothing to try to take him down. <laughs> and so we've been trying to keep the cats apart from the squirrels, but it's hard. The kitties are not happy. It's really good to try it. <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness. There you go. Yeah. Got it, girl. I'm surprised that she still remembers us because we had her for about a week before she opened up her eyes or two weeks before she opened up her eyes and then we had her for probably about two more weeks after her eyes were opened. So she became familiar with us and learned her name and you know, she's a pretty intelligent little thing. So uh, once we took her to the refuge, you know, she was there for a long time, like two months and I thought for sure she probably had forgotten us and, and all that. But she seems responsive when we call her and, Obviously, she's very tame, so she still still has some remembrance of us. But yeah, it's not, I don't think, really a good thing because, look, she's like way too tame. Mia almost got her yesterday, so uh, hopefully she can learn to distinguish nice people from angry, vicious cats. Man, you gotta love, you gotta love the spring. It's the month of April, and the birds are chirping. All the flowers are starting to bloom and it's just beautiful weather here in Florida. And today, the boys and I and Alyssa, we kind of have a mission. As April begins, it's actually kind of the beginning of the court, the courtship or the mating season for the alligators. And as you guys have known, um, our bayou is actually home to several alligators. And over the years, especially the years visiting Florida, um, coming back on furlough from Indonesia, we've had several alligator encounters. But we, we don't know where they come from. Um, we see them enter the bayou and then exit, and today we figured we have a few hours to spare. We're gonna go out and try to discover where these alligators are actually come, coming from, what their source is. So we're just loading up our, our boats and we'll head out here in a sec. Turning green as we speak. This is just a baby green anole. They're like super common. I mean, in some places you have to buy them at pet stores, but here in Florida, they're just everywhere. It's just chilling, enjoying the summer. Today we're on the search for the elusive Florida gator nests. We see gators quite often here in the bayou, but we actually don't really know where their nesting grounds are. We don't know where they lay their eggs and where their mudslides are, um, but we do have an idea. We know the bayou's pretty well, and we have some pretty good ideas of where the nests might be. So we're gonna go searching for them this morning, but um, in the meantime, I'm just warming up. All right, I think I'm pretty psyched right now and I'm ready to go. <laughs> ready? Yep. Let's go. many years of watching alligators, one thing we've always observed is that they come from this direction, these, these two bayous. Whether it's late at night, they're always coming out and then they return, or even if we see them during the mornings or afternoons, they're always coming from these two bayous and then they return. So we know that they must be nesting somewhere up either in the back of these two bayous. Asher, give me a one-liner. Guys, we can do this if we do it together. I'm not really a huge fan of alligators, to be honest. I will see them from a distance, but I will never get in the water with one. Florida, I love it, but that was not one of the reasons I went. I was actually really scared to go paddle boarding with Morgan one time, because I was scared of the alligators, but he told me they're most likely scared of you more than you are of them. So that helped a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, everybody needs to be really quiet. Try not to hit your paddle up against the side of your boat. If there's an alligator out here, you wanna be nice and stealthy. We don't wanna scare him off. So we're slowly just kind of making our way along the bank here in Sailboat Bayou, and we're looking for slide marks. Because the, the alligators, they'll come out and sun themselves on a day just like this. And so they'll sit right on the bank, and um, when they take off, they leave these big belly marks along the sand. It's very, very easy to distinguish. So that's what we're keeping our eyes out for right now. Hey, Asher, you see anything? No, but they probably see me. Yeah. This is like perfect for alligator territory because you have these big kind of marshes right here. It kind of blocks the view from the water. Now on the opposite side, you have all this kind of grass area. So when you're looking for alligator um, mounds where they lay their eggs, they can be about two to three feet high and about six feet around. They're pretty big. All right, we're gonna keep heading down the coastline here, see if we can see anything. And it looks like there's an old Hobie cat up here. That's I random. Away in the woods a little bit. I want to check it out. It looks like it's been here forever. Wow, that's sweet. It hasn't had any use for a long time, that's for sure. Yeah, I've always wanted to, uh, to take one of these out. On the bay, you see people doing it all the time. They're perfect for sailing. You got this big old mast that you pull up, big sail, and they just go cruising. As soon as the wind catches them, they take off like a rocket. They're so much fun. Well, let's get back to hunting gators. This is cool, I'm gonna have to remember this. Maybe I can track down the owner. It'll be a fun little project to get it fixed up. Well guys, this is the end of the bayou, so I think um, if we're gonna find them anywhere, it would be over there, at least in this bayou. So quiet. Alligators are notorious for looking like logs. Their camouflage is so good. So we're gonna have to keep a close eye out because there's a lot of floating debris right here. What do you see, Asher? Definitely ideal spots for alligators. It's careful what you step on. So, so what are you seeing up front? We've made it to the head of the bayou here. I have never been up here before. Um, bayous are brackish water, so they're part fresh water, part salt water. And um, right now it's low tide, so we see all the fresh water here. But during high tide, all the seawater will rush in, and um, this will all turn to a kind of mixture, like salty water and fresh water. So it's an amazing ecosystem because the fish that live here and the creatures, they have to be able to survive in both environments. You kind of see how God created his creatures to be able to um, adapt to different environments. And so like the fish that live in here, they can survive in fresh water and salt water because half their lives they're in fresh, half they're in salt. All right, you guys ready to head on back? I'm not seeing anything up here. Yeah, Leaving uh, sailboat by you. No luck there, so we still have one more place. It's kind of a secret spot. It's so fun to get out though and kind of explore. A lot of that was new territory for me. I'm kind of getting into the very back of the bayou and kind of getting out on foot and then exploring the bog. It was pretty fun, kind of refueling my sense of adventure. And I think, I think it's really important to cultivate that kind of sense of adventure, the love for adventure. Um, as men, it's really just how we're wired. I think uh, it's something that's just given to us by God. So I think this really starts um, back in the garden when God gave Adam and Eve the mandate um, to have dominion over the earth and to steward it. And really, even here to this day, you know, a couple thousand years later, we're still discovering the amazing world around us and growing to really appreciate it more. Um, but kind of the greatest delight in discovery is really discovering who God is, his attributes, seeing him work um, in our lives and how he's revealed himself through scripture. That's really the ultimate discovery that we found, you know, finding and learning more about who God is and growing our relationship with him. And if you're living on mission for, for Christ, um, that's the ultimate adventure. And that's really the, the main purpose. All this other discovery is kind of insignificant compared to growing in our knowledge and relationship with Christ. But God has just hardwired us with a, a love for adventure and discovery. So um, it's really nice to get out of the house and kind of go on this mini adventure, searching for the nesting grounds of the alligators. 
And uh, I think this next place has a lot of potential. This is actually one of our secret spots. We probably haven't been back here, I don't know, 10 years or more probably. Um, it's at the very end of this bayou. And we come to a bridge. At the bottom of the bridge, there's this little tunnel. It's just big enough um, to fit a kayak in. And if you lean all the way back. And so you go through this tunnel, and on the other side is um, just kind of the very end of the bayou. And it kind of twists and turns into a swampy area. And um, I think that's where the alligators could be coming from. They're probably living back up there behind the tunnel. All right, we've reached the bridge. <laughs> just like I remember it. So the only problem about this bridge is you really have to you really have to go depending on the tide. So right now we're actually at a good a good time of the day where the tide is pretty low. So it's gonna be to our advantage. I think we should be able to slip underneath. Man, on the other side of that tunnel could hold the nesting ground of the alligator. It's gonna be kind of a game of limbo. You know, how low can you go? Oh my gosh, we're gonna make it. We got this really outside. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh, you got it. Woo. You guys okay? <laughs> you guys careful, don't hit the sides. Are you right, Morgan? Yep. Here, slow down, slow down, Asher. Slow down. Slow down. Gosh, you're still... You got this, Asher? Wow. So I thought I was a claustrophobic. I know. I was going to say, this is not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> this is super long. <laughs> you guys alright? We're almost there. Almost there, guys. I feel like it's gonna grind my nose up. Okay. Good job, guys. All right. Yeah. All good. Everybody, keep your eyes out for alligators. So back when we were a lot younger and we were, we were here on a furlough from Indonesia, we did a lot of kayaking with our grandpa. And that was back before a lot of this was developed. We, we came across this bridge and we just had to go underneath it. And so, I don't know, just one by one, we kind of get a paddling start, lay back, shoot under. And that's how we kind of discovered this area. Back then, we, we never saw any signs of alligators here. But of late, there's been so much alligator activity I'm wondering if the alligators didn't find this little secret passage as well, and they might be nesting back here. So as you can see, this is like prime territory. Man, I wonder what's over this hill right here. I have never been up here. No way. That's a whole other water source. This is bizarre. I did not know this was up here. It's like a whole other bayou. You know what? There's no gators back there, but maybe they live here and they crawl over this, this grassy spot. They get in there, and that's where they come into the bayou. It's a pretty good theory. Possibly, but I'm just wondering, this doesn't, I'm not sure how far this goes, but it doesn't look that big, so I'm just wondering, is there enough food for the yeah, alligators? Wow, little did we know, hiding up from the bayou is like this little freshwater pond or lake. So this will have to be an adventure for another day. We, we can't explore it right now, We've really checked high and low, all, the, all of the perfect places that an alligator would nest. We're, we still haven't found any signs, um, but we know the alligators are here. They, they live right in the area, we've seen them, we just haven't found their nest yet, so... I don't know, maybe they, maybe they do come from that pond up there. Uh, that's a very plausible theory, and they're just crawling over into the bayou and getting in that way. We're still not sure, but maybe eventually we'll stumble upon an alligator nest. For now though, we've, we're content to head home and grab some lunch, we're pretty hungry. Now I just have to get back through that hole. Yeah. The last glorious rays of sunshine. Thanks, yeah buddy. guys, just wanna say a shout out to our patrons, we love you guys, thanks for your support. Uh, and uh, oh for God. making another one of these wild way vlogs possible. We'll see you on the next episode. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Wild Way, and double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits, like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.